Deportation orders surged 28 percent under Attorney General Jeff Sessions. Hello, folks. My name is Jen. I'm from Golden State Times, and today we have a new story. This one comes courtesy of Politizet.com, and it says that immigration courts are moving more rapidly to remove illegal aliens after DOJ hires more judges. Deportation orders have surged since Attorney General Jeff Sessions took office, rising almost 28 percent from February through July, compared with the same time period last year, according to statistics released this week. Immigration judges who work for the Justice Department issued 49,983 removal orders, up 27.8 percent from the same six-month period in 2016, including voluntary departures in which illegal immigrants agree to leave the country at their own expense. The total number was 57,069, a 30.9 percent, 30.9, not 39, 30.9 percent increase. Immigration courts overall have also been more productive, with judges issuing 73,127 final decisions. That represents a 14.5 percent increase over the 63,850 dispositions last year at this same time. So. Um, <clears throat> Jessica Vaughn, director of policy studies at the Washington-based Center for Immigration Studies, said, "Quote: They're completing more cases," and she went on to say, "They're ordering more people removed. They're getting things done." Advocates for more aggressive immigration enforcement cheered the statistics, and Joseph Gazzardi, a spokesman for the Californians for Population Stabilization, said, "Quote: Great news," and he went on to say, "Quote." I mean, I think that one of the missions that President Trump promised is already being fulfilled. It finishes off by saying that the Justice Department data also suggests that immigration judges have become stingier in granting relief to immigrants facing deportation. That relief can range from granting asylum claims to determining that an immigrant is not removable. Judges can also use discretion to cancel removal. For instance, in a case in which a legal immigrant has committed a crime, but whose deportation will cause a hardship for family members, it says in the first、uh, in the six month period in 2016, judges granted relief to 20,255 immigrants, which represented a 31.7 percent of orders. The number this year is 16,058 or 22 percent. So it went down. And like it says, you know, these judges are getting—I wouldn't say stingier. I would just say they're using more common sense. Okay, so the good thing is that the number of、um, of orders for removal has gone up. Okay, twenty-eight percent. And it says that immigration judges who work for the Justice Department issued forty-nine thousand nine hundred eighty-three removal orders, or twenty-seven percent, twenty-seven point eight percent more. Than the same time in 2016, so not only are less people crossing the border, more people are getting deported, more people are leaving on their own on their own means, and this guy said, you know what?、Uh, he he's、uh, he works for let's see,、um, he was his name is Andrew Arthur, and he was associate general counsel for immigration and naturalization services from 1999 to 2001. He said something that makes a lot of sense. He said, "You know what? People come here to work, but if nobody is hiring anymore, then there's really no reason to stay. And also, people that are going to jail, like if you're an illegal immigrant going to jail, instead of staying here and fighting your removal, they might as well say, 'Okay, fine, I'll go home.' You know, that's what's starting to happen. All right, so." A lot of people are self-deporting themselves. A lot of people are just not coming anymore. Other people are rather go to Canada or another country instead of the United States because they know it's difficult now coming here, and it's it's not going to be as easy as it once was when we had a rhino running the country or we had a Democrat running the country. So they understand now that it's not as easy as it was before. So they rather go somewhere else or stick in their own country. 
So uh, let us know what you guys think about this, folks. Uh, President Trump made a promise to the American people, and he's keeping it. He's making sure that Attorney General Jeff Sessions is doing his job. And as of right now, the Attorney General is doing a very good job. And, you know, we're just waiting right now to see who is going to be the Secretary of Homeland Security since uh, since General Kelly uh, moved on to be Chief of Staff. See, I couldn't even remember what it was called, Chief of Staff. So anyways, so now they're trying to figure out who's going to be in that position. They need to get someone that's strong. They need to get someone that is going to enforce the law and someone that's going to work with Attorney General Jeff Sessions to make sure that these criminal aliens are deported, to make sure that anybody that needs to be removed is removed. And they need to have the best, uh, you know, the best people in the team to make sure that our country is safe and that our country is not picking up the bill for all these people that don't belong in the United States. Okay, so like I said, let us know what you guys think in the comment section below. Uh, earlier today, there was a the Department of State press briefing regarding North Korea, Kim Jong-un, and all that other stuff. So if you guys missed that, it should be coming up on your screen. Also, we uh, uploaded a video, a news video, talking about immigrants that are that are going from the united states into canada and they're using like a back road in new york to go into quebec so the canadian army is going to that area and like setting up camps and doing all this crazy stuff because a lot of people that don't belong in the united states is going to canada instead which is a very good you know which is very good news for the american taxpayer because we don't have to deal with that anymore so that's a very good thing so uh, if you guys missed that, it should be coming up on your screen. Go to goldenstatetimes.com to sign up to our newsletter that we'll send you every other day straight to your inbox. It's free. It's on our website. Go and sign up, goldenstatetimes.com. Also, we're trying to get to the next Trump rally in September. So if you'd like to help us out with the dollar, $5, whatever you can, go to goldenstatetimes.com and you'll see the link at the bottom for our GoFundMe or for PayPal, you know, whichever one you can, uh, you would use. Thank you very much in advance for helping us. If you can help us, you know, by donating a dollar, five dollars or whatever, uh, sharing the streams, sharing the channel, talking to people about Golden State Times, that helps out a lot too. And we thank you in advance for that. So if you are new, subscribe to the channel and I hope to see you guys here next time. My name is Jen. I'm from Golden State Times and I'll see you soon. Peace.